Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa if you're new here. For today's video, I want to show you some plants that are my favorite right now. And I just want to show them off a little bit more. So let's get started. I'm going to start with this Monstera Albo. I do have a few Monstera Albos in my collection, but you may know this one from a recent repot that I did. I put this plant into a new mix that I absolutely love and I took him out of terracotta. He hadn't been repotted and oh gosh, probably a year and a half. And so this is all new growth that I've gotten this year since the original leaf died. This newest leaf I am absolutely in love with because it is fenestrated and I am obsessed with the growth I've gotten on this plant. It is one of my favorite plants in my collection and I just cannot wait to see this plant grow more. The variegation on this elbow is stunning and I cannot believe I have a split leaf already and the white on this plant and this half moon leaf. Definitely my favorite besides my Aria and I can't wait to watch this one grow for me. I think I've been getting new leaves like twice a month on my Monsteras, maybe even a little bit sooner than that. They've been growing really well for me. And so yeah, I'm gonna be really excited to see even the next leaf after this one. So definitely one that I just love and adore and I can't stop looking at. I was picking up that Monstera and I found a thrip on the back of it. I'm currently treating for thrips. And so far I thought they were contained to my cabinet, but there was a thrip crawling on my Monstera leaf on the back of it. I have beneficial insects I'm using right now. So I just put one of those sachets on my Monstera leaf. I'm currently doing a video on my process with beneficial insects and thrips and everything. And yeah, but I will go into that into another video, but on to my favorites. My next favorite that I want to show you is my Alocasia Frida. It has put out these two big, huge leaves recently. And this leaf is about a foot long. And you know I love Alocasias if you know me too. Monstera, Phyllos, Alocasias, Calatheas, I love them all. But it is currently working on a new leaf right here. So it's gonna have three new leaves probably in the past month. It does have three older leaves that you can see and they are maintaining, they're not yellowing. They don't seem to be yellowing because alocasias are notorious for doing that, killing off their oldest leaf. And I did recently repot this plant and I found a couple corms. You can see the roots are already starting to grow out the bottom. So it definitely loved the repot. I think it was a little root bound. And now that it has more room to grow, it's throwing out these big leaves. I know they are absolutely notorious for spider mites. Spider mites just love these leggy alocasias that have these long stems. So I know I'm probably gonna get them on this plant at some point, but yeah, again, with the beneficial insect thing, they'll probably kill anything that is hopefully on my plants. But I have been loving this alocasia lately. It's just beautiful. I love the big velvety leaf texture on this plant and I can't wait to get more leaves. I hope it grows really big for me. But yeah, I love this one. This next plant is going to be my Monstera Obliqua. You guys may have seen this plant from a unboxing I did from Botanica's and this plant suffered severely in my home trying to acclimate. It had leaf melting and it was down to one leaf, which is this one here. But it is growing back. I have two new leaves in my care. And it does have another node here that's activating. And hopefully I'll have a new leaf coming up out of here soon. But yes, I'm really happy to see this plant grow back. This was on my wish list for a really long time and it seems to be happy. I know these can be a difficult plant to grow. Is that a thrip? That is a thrip on this plant. I'm putting a sachet on this plant. <laughs> oh no, maybe it's a good thing I'm doing this video because now I found two plants that have thrips that are out of my cabinet. Okay, time to get a sachet. But yes, 
definitely a favorite. I can't wait to see this plant grow and come back. I haven't really talked about it yet. I'm waiting for it to grow probably a few more leaves and then I'll probably do a post about it. And my monsteras are coming down with thrips now, so good to know. <laughs> okay, we had a slight delay with finding thrips. I had to film a little thrip update on my other video. So back on, the next plant that I absolutely love is my philodendron micans. This is my big one that is climbing up a moss pole. I recently chopped it, so these are the top cuts and it's dripping water because I watered it. But this is one of my favorite plants, you guys. I have a splendid and a glorious going up a pole, but they haven't really grown too much yet, so they're not really my favorite, like this micans because these leaves, you guys, are just incredible. I love my trailing micans too. I'll put a picture of my trailing micans because it's hanging up right now in an other area of my home, so I'm not gonna take it down. I would say micans is definitely in my probably top three plants. I just love it so much. And yeah, this, this month has been incredible for my mican leaves and they've just gotten so big and I can't wait to see this new one climb. So if you don't have a micans, or if you don't have one climbing up a pole, trust me, just do it because you're going to love this plant once it starts growing bigger leaves for you. I just love this plant so much. Next up is a Calathea that I just absolutely adore. This is my Calathea orbifolia. Look at these gorgeous leaves. I do have two new leaves coming in. It's gonna be hard to see them, but I have like two new growth points in there. And you may remember this Orbifolia from an old repot that I did. So over winter, I repotted this plant in like November of last year. It went through some shock, just one from the repotting. Calathea are very sensitive to repotting and their root systems getting messed with. It struggled over winter, I'm not going to lie. It was very finicky, it lost a lot of lower leaves. I had brown spots on this plant. It looked nothing like it does now. This plant has been so happy since moving here. It just loves the overall environment of my plant room. My plant room gets pretty warm, which I think contributes to this plant being really happy. I would say more so the temperature than the humidity because the humidity in my plant room can get down to like 50 some days, but it usually stays like in the 50s, sometimes 60s, depending on if it's raining here or not but I would say the temperature, it, sometimes it reaches 80 degrees in my plant room with all these grow lights on. And so I think the Calathea really, really do appreciate the warm environment for sure. That's really helped this plant grow. It's just so beautiful. I've gotten to love this plant lately because it just put out this leaf and this leaf and it put out two other new leaves probably within like the past month and it's gonna put out two more. So it's just growing like crazy and I love it. Definitely one of my favorites right now. The next plant is an anthurium in my collection and this is my anthurium forgetii and it's working on a new leaf right here which is absolutely beautiful. I do have an inflow coming in and I'm gonna have a second inflow. There's a new one here on the bottom. You can't really see that much. There's like a new inflow here. And I do have this covered in beneficial insects, beneficial mites, because I have thrips in my cabinet, you know? So I want to really learn how to store and collect pollen. And I don't see any pollen right now. I don't think it's at that stage yet. I've never had an inflow before. So I do want to store and collect pollen once I get some, if I get some, since it's the first one this plant has put out, but it has four gorgeous leaves. And you guys know my anthuriums are absolutely thriving in my cabinet, but there's just something about the forgetii that I absolutely love. The veining, the leaf shape, it's just a really beautiful anthurium. This has definitely been one of my favorite plants lately. I just love the big leaves. I love that I have an inflorescence. Just makes me happy because I know that I'm giving these guys really good care if they're growing and seem really happy. I have definitely appreciated anthuriums just a whole lot more now that I have a cabinet and an environment that they absolutely love and are thriving in. So yeah, definitely one of my favorite anthuriums. The next plant I wanna show you is one that's kind of surprised me lately because it didn't start growing well until recently. And I love the leaves on this one. So this is my strawberry ice syngonium. The pink coming in on these leaves are just absolutely stunning. 
and it's making me love this plant. Over the past month, I have just fallen in love with this syngonium and I cannot wait to get more pink. I have lots of new growth coming in and they look like they're going to be pink. So eventually I hope all these variegated leaves take over this plant. I honestly can't wait for that. It is a beautiful syngonium. I'm just really happy that it's growing better for me under these grow lights because they were all green and I didn't really care for the plant that much, but now that it's growing and getting these beautiful variegated leaves, I just love this plant so much. So definitely one of my favorites lately for sure. I wanna show this Calathea on here as well because it's one that I've absolutely been loving this past month. This is the newest Calathea to my family and it's the rattlesnake calathea and it has grown so much i probably have had this one less than a month maybe and all this new growth up top is all new since being in my care and the leaves are gorgeous on this one and i got this one in a little four inch pot and it was super compacted the soil and everything so I repotted it and I put some slow release fertilizer and I've watered this maybe a few times since I've had it. And their growth has been insane. These new leaves, there's probably like 10 new leaves that have come out on this plant. And I love it, it's growing really well. It seems really happy in my environment. And I can't wait for this one to get bigger. I just think it's a beautiful Calathea and one that I've just been loving this past month. I feel like this one might be a bit of an easier Calathea just in the time that I've had it. Definitely not like the Orbifolia, that one is very picky. But this one has been beautiful and easy and I definitely recommend if you wanna get into Calatheas. I just think it's stunning and it's just beautiful. I don't know how many plants this is in my collection that I've shown, but I cannot not show this one because this one has been one of my favorite marantas lately and you guys look at the size of this maranta it is humongous i'm spilling dirt everywhere but this is a maranta lucanura curciovana it's the rabbit tracks one and it is huge, you guys. I repotted this re recently on my Instagram in a reel I did. It's probably been about a month and it has just exploded in growth. I put it in an eight inch nursery pot and it's so beautiful, so big. It is growing like crazy. Believe it or not, this is the same Maranta that I repotted on my channel that I Because uh, I have, I, yeah, I don't think it's anything. I think it was just some dirt, but, but yeah, this one is the same Maranta that I repotted in my mealybug video. It had mealybugs when I first saw it at the nursery and it has grown so much. I have propagated and added so much into this plant and it's an absolute favorite Maranta of mine. And it's just one of the easier ones too. I find it's not as finicky and it grows really fast. But I love this Maranta and it's big, it's huge, it's beautiful, and I just love it so much. I think that's it. That's all I'm going to show for this video. I just wanted to show some plants that I have been loving lately and I can't wait for them to even grow more. I was really happy to show these plants off. There's a lot more in my collection that I love, of course, but I feel like those are some of the ones lately that I have kind of gravitated towards and have just fallen more in love with. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you all very soon.